What is going on everybody? It is me, your boy Perucci. We're back with another Dragon Ball Z Don't Come Battle video. Today's Dragon Ball Z Don't Come Battle video. I have no idea what's going on. But today's Dragon Ball Z Don't Come Battle video, we are going to be doing the what's I'm gonna call it? The Universe 6 uh Universe 6 Survival Saga uh category. But yeah, Universe 6 category. But yeah, uh but I think for the most part all of these uni oh, except the Vados, I think it's in the um, Universe Survival Saga category. But anyways, doesn't matter. Like I said, Universe 6. But yeah, guys. The most important thing I've any of my freaking videos is you guys. How are you guys doing? Hopefully, all of you guys are doing fan freaking tastic, dude. For the first time, this was also another annoying freaking um category run. Not not as annoying as the time travels one because um you know time travelers like I said I could have built I could have built a better team for that, but it's just like dude, this this run I was really heavily relying on the freaking hit. To um, make the medium chance to stun all the enemies, but dude, he was not freaking what's my call it like proccing his uh, his stun chance. It's like, it's like, dude, can you like do what you're supposed to do? Or, like at least do it once. Like, dude, that was pissing me the hell off, dude. Like for sure, I'm just like here trying to have a good time, trying to like freaking clap these guys as fast as I can. But this guy wasn't, pro and then. No, the one thing that would annoy me the most is when uh, this dude, like, when I have two of these guys in one rotation, so, like, when that happens, uh, when I, like, start the run and whatnot, and dude, neither neither one of those dudes freaking procs their, their stun chance, and I'm like, dude, what's the point, <laughs> What's the freaking point? I mean, sure, he still has the chance to, um, to proc, uh, what's gonna call it, his, his, uh, to, his, ah, I think his chance to stun the enemy for the turn, I think, when you attack them, but it's like, dude, like, well, actually, wait, is the Piccolo stunned because of the... Okay, yeah, that, that Piccolo stuns. Okay, so I guess it's stunned for two turns. And then the fact that we reduce his uh, attack and defense. But yeah, uh, here, I, I'm i pretty sure I must have definitely activated, like, the... The what's it call it? Uh, like, a Kid Icarus or something. Because I know this hit... I mean, actually, no, he he definitely survive, actually. Even after we do a super attack, he should be able to, uh, to survive, like, at least taking one hit. Because I think he does get um his... Attack and defense from uh like attacking or doing like a super attack. Let me go check on it real quick. Uh before I say anything that does not match what like the unit does. Let's see how much we take it. Dude, hundred and five thousand damage, dude. From type advantage. Cause we're like we're because I think I think it checked his stats before. And I think he was just getting like 80k defense or 90 90% uh 90%. 90k defense without like attacking. Dude, that's that's very small, dude. Like, holy hell, can you <laughs> just <sighs> whatever? But yeah, look right here. Uh, so he gets attack and defense plus twenty percent per universe six category ally attack in the same turn, and then meaning chance of stunning all enemies when all allies attack in the same turn are, are part of the universe six category. Which, uh, if, if you if you know, I'm pretty sure all of you could tell all the whole team is freaking universe six categories, right? And then plus an additional attack and defense plus 160 percent when performing a super attack when performing a super attack, dude. Like literally, all of that stat. You have to super attack. If you don't, or if you don't do it before then, you might get your cheeks clapped, dude. <laughs> There's nothing uh less to say than that. Wait, what? Who did the oh I'm like, who did the girls attack? The girls freaking attacked uh, the AGL freaking what's it called the Here I got super excited again because of the fact that dude, I'm like, no way, we actually proc this freaking what's it called medium chance to stun again. I, I mean like dude, I'm pretty sure this is the run where like all of these stuns were, were being activated and I was just getting super happy. I'm like, dude, freaking finally, man. <laughs> I just want to freaking, I, I, I just want to have some fun with this um Universe uh, 6 hit, dude, because uh, that's that's all I hear that he's like, that, I mean, yeah, essentially that's all he's good for is just uh having the chance to stun all of the enemies in rotation and then the only thing I could think of, obviously, is, or I'm pretty sure most people know, is in super battle royale or extreme super battle royale that you could uh ha you could have that chance to stun all of the enemies, especially in this one too, because um obviously all of your team is gonna be full of uh, universe six category uh, allies. But yeah, um this guy uh like I said, what he does, he what he needs to do, like stunning everybody and such, it, it's pretty good to be honest. And then obviously it's nice too the fact that this guy uh can lower attack and defense of the attacked enemy. Uh, I think, does this bottles? No, I don't think this bottles killed. Yeah, that bottles didn't kill the freaking Piccolo. Um, but yeah, once that, once he actually does what he needs to do, uh, you start having a bit of fun. But you know what? Whatever, man. I'm here. I'm here. At least I'm here that I completed the freaking, what's gonna call it? Uh, Extreme Super Battle. I, like, I definitely wouldn't mind doing it again to see if I could probably. It's like, this kind of reminds me somewhat of like the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. Uh, the I think it's a Universal Survival Saga uh, category. 
where or maybe the representatives representatives of universe 7 where uh when i think that dude uh i think during that time frame i'm pretty sure that dude just came out or uh was a re released around that time frame when that stage came out and you know people will use like his spirit bomb because you just have to be under 59 percent hp or something like that dude something around there not too sure if i could check on it real quickly uh, which is he's over here. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I forgot that. Um, what's it called? I have him on there. Oh, uh, I have him rainbow. But yeah, you have to be on the 59% HP or less and then have another three or three or more representatives of the universe category allies on the team. But yeah, um, we're not talking about them. We're talking about the universe six category, uh, uh run here. Dude, there's just so many. Oh, there we go again, dude. Freaking the stun is amazing, dude. All right, here I'm like trying to like big brain my plan. Because uh, obviously we have um, Saiyans in this freaking uh, part of the fight. And if you guys don't know, the LRK and Khalifa, uh, they do multiple super attacks. Not only if you're in the Universal Survival Saga category, but if you're also on the on the freaking what's it gonna call it on the yeah. just seeing all of those cracked thing imaging is makes me laugh. But if you um if you're in the pure Saints category, uh, uh pure yeah pure Saints category. Uh, you all they also release a uh, release. They'll also launch an additional super attack. So yeah, I definitely want to take advantage of that and then and then then leave those two for the last because uh, if you if you take out those two units first, then obviously they're not alive and these girls are not gonna be able to do their freaking what's gonna call it their additional super attacks. Here I was really hoping for these girls could do crits, so we could take out this freaking angel angel Frieza, but I don't think they do take them out. But like, uh, well, actually they do. Wow. <laughs> I thought they left him alive with a little bit of health, dude, honestly, but, um, whatever. At least we were able to take him out, right? At least? Right, right, right? Okay, I was about to say, I'm like, dude, I'm pretty sure we took we took that guy out. And then here, nice, we got freaking these three, uh, those two dudes out of the freaking way. Don't have to worry about that. Now we just have freaking, um, those, those, uh, other three enemies, the freaking Goku and the freaking Vegeta and the Gohan, which I think next, I think I attacked the, the Gohan, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think I attacked the Gohan because, like, like I said, pure Saiyans, uh, you, I definitely want to have that up so the girls can do multiple super attacks and whatnot. But I don't. Here is where I get a bit scared, honestly, because I don't want to rotate the um, the STR uh, STR Kefla, no Kef, yeah Kefla, or the Tech Khalifa. So I definitely activated a Ghost Usher because I'm like, dude, if that Vados at the last slot does not dodge, we're dead. <laughs> like honestly i'm pretty sure we're like freaking dead as all hell dude because i think she has only a high chance to stun if i'm correct if i could go find her real quickly i don't think i am because i don't memorize where my characters are oh, right there she is rainbow too actually oh, okay but yeah she has attack and defense plus 60 percent not enough high chance of evading enemies attack and then of course she has a, she has a support too so if you're part of the universe six realm of god siblings bond and Ma and bond of master disciple category allies uh, you get attack and defense plus 20%. And then random, randomly changes key sphere of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when there's a universe 6 category ally, which I mean could be helpful somewhat, but yeah. Um, doesn't really, uh, like I said, uh, I don't want, I, I didn't want to take the chances of her just getting smoked, so <laughs> I'd rather just leave her, uh, I'd rather just use the ghost usher just so we could, what's gonna call it, I'll get this through and, you know, just, uh, it may, and possibly seal too, to be honest. That's one thing I like about uh, this Vados is she's able to seal and we keep uh, the Vegeta sealed. Uh, the Goku is uh, STR, so it doesn't really matter too much. So what I'm doing here is I'm like, all right, so well, the game plan would wait. Oh, they're all stunt, dude. Wow. Yeah, this was this was definitely GG. So here I'm like, you know what? It doesn't really matter who we attack, dude. <laughs> Regardless, I think they're just going to get smoked because the hits, um, if they're attacking against a unit that's a... Uh, stun i think they get like additional attack boost and they are effective against those. i thought they perform critical hits to me like uh they perform a critical hit like guaranteed but no so if i find a passive here oh yeah no if i yeah, right. i think it's right here yeah plus an additional attack plus 80 percent attacks are going to be at all times on the target enemy's stun dude 80 percent holy hell so yeah uh like i said this guy's mainly this this guy's kid is mostly you want to have you want to stun the enemy and then once you get to stun the enemy you definitely want to go for them because you'll how you'll be effective against all types and you'll have the the attack boost but yeah thankfully once those two are out of the way <laughs> dude this fight right here when i saw the, the the card arts of like i knew where this is from because uh the that int beerus is from what's i'm gonna call it the ssr int beerus and then he also has a dokkan awakening and then this weiss 
his uh, adult kind of awakening from the SROEs. And I was like, dude, I could leave this uh, Khalifa here, but no. They're, I'm, I'm, I'm 100% sure they are not part of the Universe of Survival Saga. So you can see here as I waited uh, before I do anything, I went to my computer, like my second monitor to double check. I'm like, dude, I'm 100% sure these guys are not part of the Universe of Survival Saga. So um, after I looked that up, and double make sure that they are not part of the Universal Survival Saga. I think I used the Ghost Usher here. Just so uh, I don't have to worry about it. Because, dude, if I just ran with my gut. Or not with my gut. But if I just, like, guessed it. I'm like, yeah, they're part of the Universal Survival Saga. Let's just leave uh, Khalifa up there. Dude, insta-smoked by freaking beers, I'm pretty sure. Because we probably would have been taking 300k or 400k in the first hand. And then, boom, slap in the, in the last slot. I mean... I could have probably used Kefla, uh, no, not, oh my god, dude, I just, wait, Kefla is the fusion, and I just called STR Kefla, <sighs> oh my god, Kale, 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 that's her name, dude, I don't know, why. ah, yeah, yeah, man, but yeah, if I put STR Kale in the freaking first slot to be able to guard, I don't think it's gonna be enough, because obviously we need her to stack first, so she, she could be able to have a good amount of defense and then tank those, because I think during uh what's it call it one of the runs uh i thought she was going to be able to or it probably is this run that um uh, i thought she was going to be able to tank uh a certain what's it called to a certain amount of damage but no she actually no i think it was the one i'm like referring to right now uh is gonna i think it's one of the fighting legend events i thought she was gonna be able to tank one of the damages but no she's like taking like at least 50k or something even with guard active or maybe 20k 30k somewhere around there and i'm like dude yeah um, this unit is not as good as it used to be before. And then here, of course, I used a double, um, double damage reduction item because I definitely, <laughs> I would rather, I would much rather just use the double items and then call it a day. I don't care. You, I don't care. I don't care about using, um, more than one item, dude, or not using any items at all. I'd rather just uh, do that. Leave this, leave the girls up front here. Um, even though, of course, they're not going to be able to do like double super attacks, but um, let's just leave them up front here, and then, because I'm pretty sure maybe that hit probably would have not taken as much damage as I think he would, but, yeah, no, I'm not playing those games, dude. <laughs> I'd rather just <laughs> be, uh, sure, uh, leave those girls up front, even though they didn't get as much stack as I want to, but, um, this should be a guarantee, this, th this rotation should be, like, a guaranteed death for this Beerus, uh, for sure. I don't even think this hit got a crit, I think he just got, like, a normal hit, let's see. Yeah, he, he got stunned, and then that is really mad, look at that, boom. And then here, Vados is all nice and safe, and then we can seal this guy up, and then, yeah. It didn't really matter if we have, like, the, the damage reduction in this slot, but, yeah. We're good. We're freaking Gucci. Um, here, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure we're, like, uh, guaranteed to win, dude, no matter what. Because, yeah, uh, I don't know what else. <laughs> dude, I probably could have left a hit up front to do the Dokkan attack, but, um, yeah, nah. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter at all, dude. Like, uh, this guy's just gonna get, keep getting smoked, because we're gonna be reducing his damage from this hit right here, and then... Yeah, I think that, that's about it, to be honest with you. I don't know what uh, what else to, to say or one more to explain to keep this uh, to keep this dub. Because uh, I, I'm pretty sure the hit reduce... Uh, yeah, he reduces the target's enemies attack by 20% and their defense by 80% for two turns, dude. The defense is unnecessary, like the 80%, that's a little too much. But hey, you know what? At least we're reducing their damage by uh, 20%, right? So yeah, um, like I said... Doesn't really matter. I'm right here. By this point of the the freaking fight, I'm like, I, I knew we already won. We got our, we secured our dub because we don't have to worry about the beers. And then plus the freaking beers was type advantage against the hit. So we definitely that's why I aim for that guy more spe more specifically. <laughs> I definitely did not want to mess with that guy at all. And then he, I think here it would it would be nice enough if we were able to stun him. Uh, you know, during this hit, which I have no idea if we do. Maybe possibly. Let's see. We do. And then does it keep the stun for the... Yeah. And then I'm like, all right, you know what? Let's just put that hit up front. I don't, I, I don't think this guy kills unless he just does double super attacks. And yeah, dude. <laughs> and then look at that, dude. I'm telling you, man. This guy's magic, once you start stunning your enemies and such, you're, you're, you're good, dude. You're really freaking good. And then that and then... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this guy was dead. Double super <laughs> lowered his defense by another 80%. Dude, let's see. Look at that, dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, hey, you walk away from that fight, man. You, you no, I mean, if you don't get the stun off, you're not, you're not gonna be cool like that or walking away from, from any fight. You'll probably, you'll, you'll probably get smoked and the other opponent will just walk away from you. But yeah, anyways, um, this one took a little longer because, um, I think like an extra minute or two because I wanted to uh, double make sure on the last fight that 
those two units are not part of the universal survival saga, which I was correct. They weren't. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out, guys.